<laughs> they decided we can't have people making puns about the language. So, so let's do Haskell. There were sort of different efforts around the world. And at some point people said, it's a pity we have so many different ones. Uh, so uh, we, we should agree on some sort of uh, pick the subset of these languages that everyone agrees on. And so at the FPCA conference in Portland in 19... This conference eight. doesn't exist anymore, does it? And so people said, this is silly. We should make one conference. And that became ICAP. I see. So at, at this conference, we got together in a room and said, okay, let's make a, a language that everyone can use. So we have a, the same notation that make it easier to, for people to read each other programs and we can exchange programs. And so that's how the Haskell committee was formed. So they, yeah, yeah. They, they wanted to have a name for the language. And I thought it would be curry because there are so many wonderful puns you can make with curry. <laughs> but I decided we can't have people making puns about the language. So, so let's do Haskell. And uh, since it was then named after Haskell, Brooks, curry, um, Paul Hudak, who was sort of the informal head of the Haskell committee, he decided he will go and talk to Haskell Curry's widow to see what she thought about naming a language after her husband. And so he talked to her and she said, oh, yes, yes. I mean, I think he would have been thrilled if he'd known that. And then as Paul was leaving, she said, but he never really liked his name. <laughs> 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 and so why am I still doing Haskell?